Okay, so I guess we're good now. Yes, no. Perhaps. Can you repeat the question? All right, we're probably live on YouTube, so just give me a sec here. And we will go ahead and grab Instagram. Okay. Hopefully this will work. If not, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we are live on both platforms. What's up, everybody? Hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram. Um, again, apologies for the lighting. Um, we are on a perpetual quest to balance the lighting. And it's okay on YouTube. Still looks like crap on Instagram, so I don't know what else I can do about. Well, get better lighting, I guess. All right, so today is January 11th. Um, as everyone knows, on January 6th, a bunch of cowardly Republicans tried to initiate a coup tried to take over the U.S. government, uh, tried to murder government officials. And um, this is unprecedented in our history and needs to be treated seriously. Uh, so to start off, I just wanted to read a short section um, that definitely applies from The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, I've got my Handmaid's Tale here. Um, if you have this edition, I'm on page 174, and here we go. It was after the catastrophe, when they shot the president and machine gunned the Congress and the army declared a state of emergency. They blamed it on the Islamic fanatics at the time. That simple sentence right there, when they shot the president and machine gunned the Congress and the army declared a state of emergency, that sentence, more than really any other in this book, has stuck with me over the years. It's just, it's one line and it's bonkers, it's preposterous, it's a nightmare, and that's exactly what happened on the 6th. Like, most people don't know how actually close we came to them machine gunning the Congress, killing the Vice President, um, at least. So that's where we are. Keep calm, they said on television. Everything is under control. That's when they suspended the Constitution. They said it would be temporary. There wasn't even any rioting in the streets. People stayed home at night, watching television, looking for some direction. There wasn't even an enemy you could put your finger on. That's where we are now. People staying home at night, watching television, looking for some direction. But this time we know who the enemy is. The enemy is Republicans. They've been the enemy for the last four years and will continue to be the enemy of freedom, of progress, of all the good things in life. Seriously, what good has a Republican ever done for anyone that wasn't a corporation? So instead of staying home, watching television, looking for some direction. Here's the first thing that we're all gonna do, and that is call your representatives, buy Jurassic things with cameras, in the middle of something important, but if you don't wanna stick around, fuck off. Um, one thing we need to all be doing every day until the inauguration is contacting our representatives in government, tell them to fast track impeachment, um, tell them to staff the Capitol with people that are competent and expel those members of Congress that actively participated in this insurrection. All day, every day, until the traitor is kicked out of office. Um, and even after Biden is in office, it's really important to keep pushing uh, for accountability. 
because uh, these people, all these people calling for unity with the Republicans, they just don't want the consequences of their actions. There's no unity with these people. So I don't know. That's that's where we start. Um, what happens between now and the 20th is still very much up in the air. Um, it is the most trying time definitely in my life. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Um, and we all just need to continue to be vigilant and keep pressuring our elected officials to do the right thing uh, to stop these treasonous cowards from machine gunning the Congress and stealing the election. Um, I don't know. I'm really, the last couple of days, I've really, ever since the 6th, I've really been at capacity for human interaction and stupidity. Um, obviously, if you guys have any questions, you can always come to me. I can explain to, explain anything you want to know. Um, but don't kid yourselves. This is where we are. And this is where, you know, we're going to be. Uh, for the next few weeks, at the very least. Um, on a related note, uh, let's talk about some LEGO news. Um, many people have noticed that Tips and Bricks has started a diversity initiative. And this is great. Uh, we do need more of this in the LEGO community. Uh, more openness, more welcoming. Um, but of course, when I asked them if they would stop encouraging people to buy Harry Potter Lego, they're like, oh, we don't want to tell people what to do, man. That would be, you know, not cool. Um, which, of course, is bullshit. It just is. Um, staying on the fence like that is really helping to maintain the power of the oppressor which in this case is jk rowling and for those of you that don't live in the uk you really don't know what kind of influence she has um i'm really frustrated with this point um because this is a five minute conversation you know it sh this should not be like a huge deal it should be like the washington redskins everyone remembers the washington redskins right you know call them up say hey you know, that name is racist. You should change it. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize. We'll change the name. Click. You know, it's, it's that simple of an issue. It is not fucking complicated. Um, so I don't know why you people think that your desire to have certain toys supersedes um, the you know the crisis right now with transphobia if you think that's more important um just unfollow me because i'm i'm really sick of having this conversation although i will have the conversation uh until lego decides to drop it that's all all right here's what y'all came to see these squids they're very squiddy um making a squid really making anything with brick separators is um kind of thankless it doesn't look as good as if you made it with all without brick separators um you really don't need to do this unless you want to be funny <laughs> um but i'll show you the basic structure here uh the limbs are really easy just mixel joints and some curved pieces. Um, what's really the really interesting part is the center structure here. This head, um, let's see if I can get it off without shattering it. Um, this head here is just, um, I guess the eyes are kind of interesting too. Um, there are these just eyeballs with studs. And these telescoping pieces. Um, 
just kind of well it's hard to see I'll take this off too kind of uh, fed into the back wall here and that's all and the head structure is also not very complicated um, it's just a two by four brick and um, no. Okay, I guess we're gonna take all this apart. Yeah, it's just a two by four brick, and um, you know these. Um, it's not pieces. That's it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through this middle structure here, which. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just take these off. These are also um, just not pieces. That. Uh, we'll leave these on for now. Our relevant. Okay, so, whoops. Go back on that. Okay. I want it to come completely apart. All right, so now we have, if you take eight of these uh, just hinge pieces and put them together, you can make a nice ring. And then to give the ring stability, um, what you want to do on the top here is you make a seven stud wide plate. That. So we've got a three and a four stud um, plate. And then you can use these uh, jumper plates to kind of uh, recenter the the build so that, well, I took it all apart now, but like then you have your, put your head in the center here. That's easy. Now, when you, when you do this, see, then your ring doesn't move. When you do this um, along the bottom side, um, it's not exactly seven studs. It's a little bit smaller than seven studs. It's like six and, I don't know, six and a half or three quarters. So what you do is you get your two, uh, two by threes on each side. And then you put two jumper plates here in the middle. And then a one by two here. And then a two by four uh, or two by two plate will snap together. It's not very stable, <laughs> which is why um, you can use it for the bottom. But if you use this uh, the seven stud wide two by seven, I guess it is on the top, that will give your ring um, most of the stability. And that's that's it. That's your that's your brick separator squid. Um, to make the, the little baby one, it's very easy. I just, you know, I did this a few different ways. I tried to figure out, there probably are different ways to do this, but it's just, hey, what's up, Monica? Um, it's just one of these octagon things. And um, just make our little limbs here. And yeah, let's go around the center. To use um, like a steering wheel type piece, but the like the steering wheel pieces have like three spokes on them, so if you put them, you can't put eight little limbs um, on the spokes; they interfere. So that's that's the baby, um, and then I made it this uh, little starfish plushie, um, and again. You can just take, if you want this to make this five-sided thing, you just take um, five of your hinge plates. There you go. Now you can see it. It's five hinge plates. Stack them together. Um, if you want something in the center, use a one by two round plate. Uh, pop it up there, and there you go. now you have your now you have your starfish squid plushie.
but yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, really, I don't know. I guess I wasn't planning on taking this whole thing apart, but it just came apart. Anyway, again, the main point is there's a better way to make a creature um, than without using brick separators. Uh, but yes, you can do it. Um, you could also make a peacock. Uh, I, I probably won't make a peacock. Um, yeah, Aaron Brick Designer uh, made a bird. I forget what kind of bird it is, but he posted it on his Instagram. It's a kind of bird, and um, it's pretty neat. So go check that out. Apparently he's going to make more creatures. Um, what he did for the wings is really neat. He used those um, like those uh, one by one studs with the with the studs sticking out. Parrot, parrot. Thank you um, for the wings. Yeah, macaw or something like that. Whatever, some kind of exotic bird. Um, but yeah, he used the. Well, I don't have one handy. Uh, but he used those pieces that I liked to use, uh, that I used for the structure in the um, pagoda, in the Winter Village pagoda. Uh, let me put those in there. Um, yeah, yeah, something like that, Parrot. And um, he used, you know, played, played one by one by one stud thing in the middle, and that gave him, you know, for the wings, you know, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting some tips from that guy. Uh, I guess the other thing we can show off is this thing I built for Bricks LA. This is uh, just the sand sandworms. Uh, I did this for part of the seed or seed park challenge. Um, yeah, so we had to use these blue pieces here. Uh, you can't even see it on Instagram. We had to use these uh, half eggs. Uh, I think Brick, Pace, Brick, Brick Princess Buttercup called these like half eggs. Um, and these, uh, let's see, blue piece, blue wing pieces. Right? You build, you know, anything. Not a contest, just a build for fun. So that's why that's why I built. Uh, so these worm structure is also not very tough to see here. Here's your basic worm structure. Uh, it's just a Travis brick. Pop it in. Uh, the stud on the bottom to connect to the base plate, basically. And then two wings, which are like this. Uh, so that's a one by three plate. Um, I was experiment. I experimented with uh, making this a one by four plate. Uh, but if you do, if you do make it a one by four plate, um, these two kind of wings sides here. Um, yeah, if you make if you make these one by four plates, um, they're more stable, but they interfere with the the center in such a way. That these two won't um, won't connect as well to the Travis brick. So that's why I made them that way. Anyway, uh, that's that's this worm. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, I guess for now. Soon I'm gonna be making. I just got this today. Did get my bonsai. Uh, put that out at some point, but you know, you normally I love FedEx, but you know, come on, guys, just do better. <laughs> like this box was like smashed. The worst I've ever seen a box smashed. Like this is how this came. Like not a huge deal, but come on, guys. I don't know. It's tough all over. I'm not gonna be too hard on them. It still puts together, um, but yeah. Uh, for the bonsai I build, I'm gonna try to get uh, one of my friends to come on and stream with me. Um, he does not do Lego at all, but he does bonsai. Like, he's not a grandmaster or anything, but he's he's been doing it for the past few years, and so he knows what like 
he knows what like this shape means like on a bonsai so this this means like something when you sculpt the tree like into that specific shape um so i don't know if you guys want to know what that means tune in at some point in the future and if i can get my friend to come on he will explain it he definitely like he told me what it was but i i instantly forgot it um Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, um, fortunately, you know, it's it's not it's not required. I'm not putting it in the vault. Um, we're gonna we're gonna build it and then I guess flatten the box or something. But still, eh, still not crazy about that. Um, but yeah, this is um, that's all. That's all I really have to say for now um lots to do in the next couple of weeks um lots of serious things gonna be happening so um i don't know i would just once again encourage everyone to be in touch with your representatives um and just uh keep paying attention to what is happening um, because this was really like if these people aren't held accountable this was just a trial run uh, it's definitely not over yet um, even with parlor being taken down there's still people just openly plotting to just kill biden and congress um, on the 20th so that's fun um, and even even in state legislatures like we see it in kansas and kentucky um, people just storming the state capitals so write to your state representatives as well um, and make sure that you have security, you're protected, um, your government is protected and working for you. Um, and we'll see what happens in nine days. Um, that's, that's all for me tonight. Like I said, I'm really at capacity for human interaction. Um, but if anyone has questions about anything or needs to know what to do, feel free to DM me. Um, I'm sure this is not the last video I'm going to make on this topic. So that's fine. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Until, yep. Yeah. Armed insurrection. Not protests. I know you put it in quotes anyway, but I, I know what you mean. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, um, till next time, keep building, keep breaking that chicken. You too, YouTube, keep breaking that chicken. <laughs>